with the summer season underway and me not doing one of those seasonal overview videos for a while, I thought it'd be good to take a look at some of the shows coming out and talk about which ones seem to stand out the most. I haven't seen everything, so make sure to tell me if you think there's something good I missed, though I think I caught everything that really interested me other than the big sequels, which I'm just going to wait till they're over anyway. First, Hanabado, which is a badminton anime. It seems like a standard sports anime, which while normally not my thing, can work if they know how to like capitalize on the hype such as Haikyuu. And from the first episode, this is possible. There was a good amount of drama here between the different characters, which adds another dimension to the story, though I could see this being just like an overly dramatic show which ends up hurting it. So overall, I'm not super excited to see more, but the first episode was enough for me to give it at least another one, and if you like sports anime, I'd say give this a try, otherwise hold off for now probably. Next is How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, which is a sort of parody on the whole like trapped in another world type story, and well, the first episode was decent, though I don't think it's enough to continue for me. The story isn't anything new or special, and while there were some decent like parodies and references, they they were too few and far between to carry the story with their comedy. So again, not bad, though I feel that my time would be better spent elsewhere. And next, Angels of Death, which is the dark suspense show of the season, and I'm at least intrigued by it. It follows the main character Rachel, who doesn't have her memory as she tries to escape the hospital type thing she is in, despite crazy people trying to kill her. While the concept is interesting, I feel like it's kind of overly edgy and doesn't have the strong execution that a show like this would need, but if they can do it right in the future episodes, it could be something great. Again, I can't recommend it yet, but it's worth continuing at least for me. Then there's Chi School Road, which is a show about a girl as she goes to school. Yeah, that's about it. It takes this bare bones concept, then adds comedy with lots of weird things happening to stop her, and it's actually pretty fun. The main girl is obsessed with video games and tries to use those techniques to help her out in life to get to school. I'm sure you can imagine how well that works. The comedy here reminds me of Nichijo, how they like take all these things with an overblown reaction, and yeah, it could be good. There isn't all that much here and the comedy isn't great, though I'm going to keep going, though I have a feeling I'll drop it within another episode or two. Next is Banana Fish, which I really like from the first episode, though I can't really tell you what's going on because a lot happens. It is about a conflict between different gangs and the mob and lots of characters with different motivations. The main guy trying to help out his brother who has been in a sort of coma type state after something happened in a war and he said the word banana fish. And yeah, it's... Kind of a mess, but in a good way. It feels kind of like Bacchino with all the different things going on, or maybe like 91 days with the whole mob thing. Whatever the case, I want more, though I think this is one that is best to wait till the end to watch all at once. Then there's Planet With, which is another one I really liked from the first episode, though again, hard to really figure out what this is about. Actually, a lot of the ones I'm excited for are hard to describe. Maybe that's a sign of a good show or something. Anyway, this is a mech anime. I think, and it's about a guy without a memory, these strange creatures come to attack Earth, and then you have heroes who go to fight these creatures. The overall weirdness got my interest, like a giant talking cat who is like the a caretaker of the main character, but what really got me is how the show seems to be breaking down the line between good and evil, or at least how it handles the main character through that. If the show can do it right, then it will be something amazing. I ended up kind of putting this on top of my anime I was looking forward to list without really knowing much about it, and it was kind of a shot in the dark, but I think I might have been right here. At the very least, it's something I can recommend based on the first episode, so let's hope the rest of it doesn't prove me wrong. Then there are Cells at Work, which is a comedy where the characters are personified cells. Like the main girl is a red blood cell, she ends up meeting a white blood cell who saves her, and yeah, comedy ensues. It was pretty funny, though I feel like the novelty may wear off pretty soon, but we'll have to see. It was worth a try though, and I'm going to keep going for now at least. Next is Holmes at Kyoto Tamachi Sanjo, which is a boring show about characters who work at an antique shop. The main guy is kind of cool being like Sherlock Holmes and how he knows everything and can figure anything out, but yeah, that's it. 
no interesting story, no really interesting characters, so easy drop, boring, do not recommend. Then we have Dashin Dropkick, which is a slapstick comedy about some demons and an angel and the sadist they live with, and the demon tries to kill the sadist girl, and yeah. Basically plotless comedy, but without good comedy. So, boring show, I'm dropping. There's also Anjo Moise, which is a historical action samurai anime about the invasion of the mongrels uh, coming into Japan. There is good action here, but it's the type of story I can't get into because I don't really like historical stories. Though I'll admit the princess is pretty cool and could make for a good main character, though that's about it. I also didn't care for the filter that they had over the visuals, like they were trying to add a sort of old feel to it, but with the filter just being stationary the whole time, anytime the camera moved, it just looked bad. So yeah, not a bad show and some people will like it, though not one for me. Next is Tenro Cyrus the Jaeger, which is a show about vampire hunters. So far it's basically cool action, though not much focus on the plot or character so far, but I'm intrigued enough to continue for now. And I think it'll be interesting to learn more about the world and the characters, so I'll keep going. Then there's Sojo Kageki Revu Starlight which for about 60 minutes was just a boring musical idol type show that looked pretty cool. Then the giraffe showed up. I feel this could be an interesting show though with what we got from this episode. I don't know. It took a while to get interesting and even then I don't know if it'll go in a good direction or just a completely nonsensical direction. Or maybe both. I could see that happening. I would say give this a try though. It is not something ordinary. Where it will go from here, we'll have to wait and see. And of course, we have Grand Blue, which is my favorite of the season so far. It's a comedy about a college freshman who is roped into joining a diving club. Sort of. The humor here is very fast paced and I found it to be hilarious. I am a bit worried that the jokes will get stale because it kind of reused the same one like three or four times, even though it did hit every time, but will that continue? I don't know. But if it can keep on being as funny as this first episode, it will be one of my favorite comedy of all time. And then lastly, Happy Sugar Life. Which, as the name, and the art style, and the genre tag of horror will tell you, is a delightfully twisted anime. It's told through the eyes of a main character who is morally messed up. And while she is doing lots of obviously morally wrong things, the show makes her character to root for in part because of her conflict with other characters or just as messed up as she is. It's just behind Grand Blue when it comes to shows I'm excited to, to see more of, so if you haven't watched it yet, give it a try. You might like it. Or you might just think there's something wrong with me for liking it so much. Either way, that is okay. So that's everything from the season I've tried. Let me know if there's anything that I missed that you think I should try, and I will see you all next time.